Walapini woman here, and I've started this series because I want people to understand how to grow their own food and possibly year-round if you have to. I've noticed groceries have been getting a lot more expensive, and so we're going to talk about um, how to grow in a wallapini, both hydroponically and in a pot. We're also going to talk about starting seeds, germination periods, and where good areas are to plant things around your home so that you can go ahead and eat for less. You can't get more local than your own garden. And I think why not plant something and propagate it and then go ahead and harvest it and enjoy the yield as well as cutting your grocery bill. We're going to look at all different ways of growing things and also look at installing your own rain barrel somewhere. You can do a lot of these things on the cheap. We're going to go over how to build a rain barrel from scratch. There's no reason you have to spend a large amount of money to garden and to even hydroponically garden. Um, it doesn't require a super amount of money to go ahead and do it right. And um, then I'm also going to show you my wallapini and it's a wallapini greenhouse and I'm showing you how to spell it here. And if you Google it, you'll see a lot of different models of wallapinis. This is my own design and it's very small. It's only 15 by nine and I designed and helped build it and then oversaw the building of it. And while it's not perfect, it works great here in the Pacific Northwest. And I live on the west side of the Cascades, so it should work four feet into the ground. Now the further north you get are the colder areas that you get in the Midwest and central area of the United States the deeper you'll want to go with your wallapini down into the earth. And it simply is a way to be able to grow for long periods of time through all seasons. Um, historically, the Russians used to actually do this type of farming centuries ago. And they, in that area, which now known as Russia, uh, they used to actually have uh, lemon and lime and uh, orange orchards in Wallapini growing, which is simply a passive solar way of growing. Built down into the ground so that you use the insulation of the earth to regulate your climate. And then the sun is used to heat it and of course give your plants the nourishment that it needs from the sun to grow. Thanks for joining me on this journey and I think you'll find that it is rewarding if you come along. Like and follow.